hi what's up how is it going in this beautiful tuesday we are going to be creating uh this logo actually is on jpeg you can see it's very blurry so what we are going to do we are going to turn it into a vector based you know uh file in corridor 2021 without further ado let's step into it so right now what we are going to do first is this uh you know wavy object so let's look at uh you know Bezier tool for the very first trick we needed to take. So right now click from this you know angle then from this end click once again then close it all up right here. So right now what you are going to do next your your next step is to locate your shape tool click on that then you right click on this you know straight line you know uh, so many pops up then you locate you know convert to object convert to curve can you see that if you did not convert it to curve most definitely you won't be able to maneuver it do you understand so right now right click then you locate you know convert to curve so right now right from this you know two arrows this is what we are going to be maneuvering right now so this arrow the first arrow right here at the right hand corner or it might be left hand corner on your hand so pull it up like just like so you can see uh, it's look curvy so likewise this is where I pull it down a little bit then you pull this a little bit up just like so so right now right click on the second line on the straight line then you convert to curve you know then you pull this you know arrow downward likewise the right hand side arrow up a bit can you see that can you see that so you just have to be careful adjust it till it fit in into uh, the object we are creating so go ahead and set the health line to none can you see that good so right now what we are going to do let's adjust it a bit put this down a little bit likewise this good so right now what you're gonna do is to duplicate this object downward just like so hit control r for a repeat good can you see that so our next step right now is to go ahead and type the font so let's use cap or cap reduce go ahead and type on sys So right now the group should be cap lock group good so right now let's go ahead and change the font so times new roman so let's position it right there bold in the fonts good so what you're gonna do now is to hit ctrl k to break that text into pc then let's adjust the fonts so can you see that so let's adjust this as well go ahead to shift to reduce the tracking just like so good so right now what you're gonna do is to hit ctrl k to break the test into pieces so that you gain access in making this you know a bit bigger than the rest of the fonts can you see that good there's one thing I noticed right here so it's like it's not the font but you can maneuver things so let's go ahead let's use any other font that is more closer to that I think Trijan that works good so adjust that to fill in good good so let's go ahead and change this as well to Trijan I, I don't think that's right and what we can maneuver this so good so right now hit ctrl k to break it into pieces then you right click on this one convert to curve then you locate your shape tool so let's pull this down a little bit to fit in good so here we have a finish like can you see the outcome of what created so far just perfectly 
so right now what we needed to do now is to change that what's it called this color to this this color to this color goldy so let's just sample the color right here and points on the inside good we are good to go so here we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far and uh, more more to it you just have to believe and share this video to all your friends and all of that and uh, make a comment and let me know what you feel about this uh, uh, tutorial so thanks for watching bye for now see you in the next video